Subscribe to our channel for more videos. Hi kids, welcome back to Sci Sci Toys. Today we're gonna read The Princess and the Frog, something old, something new. New Orleans was buzzing with exciting news. Prince Naveen and Tiana were getting married. Everyone gathered to welcome the king and queen into town for the ceremony. Tiana was nervous about meeting Naveen's parents, but the king and queen were very kind to her. The queen even gave Tiana royal helpers to plan the wedding. Soon the royal helpers visited. They told Tiana what her wedding should be like. We'll do this and this and this. No one asked Tiana what she wanted. Later, Tiana asked her friend Charlotte for advice. I don't want to upset the king and queen, but I'm not sure I like what the royal helpers have planned. It's your wedding. You should do what you want, Charlotte said. So Tiana made her first wedding decision. She asked Charlotte to be her maid of honor. Later that day, Tiana's mother had a special surprise. I'd like to make your dream wedding dress for you, she said, showing Tiana a picture of a gown she had designed. What do you think of this one? Oh, mama, that's perfect, Tiana exclaimed. Prince Naveen and Louise secretly planned the music for the wedding reception. The royal helpers will choose boring music, Naveen told Louis. The perfect music should be jazzy and fun. It should make Tiana feel like dancing. After everyone else had gone to bed, Tiana sneaked into the Lobov's kitchen to work on the reception menu with Charlotte. I want to serve all of our favorite foods, Tiana said. Let's start with gumbo. When they had finished cooking, Charlotte said, Tiana, every bride needs something old, something new, something borrowed, and something blue. So here's your something blue. She gave Tiana a beautiful blue necklace. The next day, Tiana faced the royal helpers. Thank you for sharing your ideas, Tiana said, but I already have everything I need. The royal helpers were surprised. They thought the princess would want the wedding planned for her. Just then, the Queen of Meldonia walked into the room. Why do the royal helpers look so confused? The Queen asked. Tiana looked at the floor nervously. Would the Queen be angry about Tiana's wedding plans? But when Tiana explained her ideas for the wedding, the Queen smiled. I'm not upset at all. I should have known you would enjoy planning things personally. Then the Queen opened the box she was carrying. I do have one request. Would you wear this at the ceremony? I wore it on the day I wed the king. Tiana was honored to borrow the queen's tiara. Soon it was time for the final fitting of Tiana's wedding gown. It was stunning and best of all, she could feel her mother's love in every stitch. Everything seemed perfect, but Tiana missed her father. The night before the wedding, she stood on her balcony and gazed at the evening star. She was sad that her father could not be at the ceremony, but Tiana knew her father's love would always be with her. The next day, Charlotte's father walked Tiana down the aisle. In her bouquet, she carried her father's favorite old spoon. She wore the new gown from her mother, the tiara borrowed from the queen, and Lottie's blue necklace under the veil. As the ceremony ended, Tiana knew that no matter how wonderful her wedding plans were, it was love that had made it a perfect day. Tiana and Naveen left the church hand in hand. All of New Orleans turned out for their first appearance and their first dance. From gumbo to beignets, the wedding guests enjoyed Princess Tiana's cooking. And as Tiana and Naveen took the first bite of their delicious cake, they shared the sweetness of their new life together.